All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to uh, talk about some NFL news. So, uh, let's get right into it. I mean, wrap we're into this NFL news here, but it's about 3 a.m. Be my last video for tonight. Uh, for tonight. And I might do one, and I'll probably do one when I get up if I wake up in time for uh, the uh, for the uh, afternoon slate games. So let's get into it. So Jaguars tied in. Um, Evan Ingram, who's been dealing with a hamstring, uh, per Union Rapport, who is listed as questionable, is a long shot to play today. Sources say. Man, just a tight end downfall continues with freaking fantasy football. I don't even know if the offense would be the same with him. Who knows? I don't think I just don't, I don't think he would carry this offense though. So Browns stand Browns standout tight end David Njoku, who's been dealing with a high ankle sprain, is expected to play today. Source said his first action since early September. So finally, Njoku's back healthy. Uh, he sprint, had that high ankle sprain against my Dallas Cowboys first game of the year. Now he's finally back from injury. So Evan Ingram's probably not going to play while David and Joku will. That thing that is um, anything to your fantasy team. So now we get to my Cowboys here. Cowboys cornerback Trevon Diggs, who hurt his ankle in practice this week, is expected to play today. Source said he was questionable, but he is expected to play. Thank God. Finally some good news for this team. Finally some good news. I mean, even if, if, if Diggs can go, is even at 100% though? I don't know. Our defense is going to be so cooked. Uh, Chief star wide receiver Rasheed Rice uh, will visit respected surgeon Dr. Dan Cooper to have a procedure earlier this week. Early this week to determine the severity of his knee injury and what's next. There's a small glimmer of hope that he doesn't have to have like a surgery. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I, we just can't get rid of Rasheed Rice, ladies and gentlemen. Can we? We just can't get rid of Rasheed Rice. But as for Chiefs, um, he's been their best receiver this year, so if he does have a bad knee injury, it's going to be interesting to see how the their offense looks without uh, Rasheed Rice. So, Bills linebacker Terrell Bernard, who has been out since September 12th with a peck strain, is expected to return to the lineup today, sources Sunday. Sources say that is big for that Buffalo Bills defense. Going up against the Houston Texans and C.J. Stroud today. Big game for Terrell Bernard to return. Good news for him and for the Bills. Cause he's, he's a ball. He's a baller. A ballin'. He's a Balling. Um. So now we to Tom Plissero. We're gonna talk about some fines here. So the NFL they find Packers coach Matt Matt Lafleur Matt Lafleur fourteen thousand dollars for unsportsmanlike conduct last week per sources. CBS showed him reportedly trying to call a timeout before coming onto the field. The officials flagged him, and now he gets fined as well on top of it. He got fined for doing his job. The ref looked him off. He looked at him, and he didn't allow him to call his timeout. Basically, the NFL is finding BS, is finding BS to find people. How can you look over there at the coach? Hey, um, timeout, timeout, and just not and look at look away. This league, man. Get the Chiefs defense coordinator and call a timeout. Uh, the NFL, they find Texans wide receiver Nico Collins $22,511 for a necessary roughness and use of the helmet. I'm I'm sorry for what he said he led with his helmet. Then why wasn't it flagged? I'm I'm tired of these plays getting fined, but there's no flags. If if the thing is low the helmet, then fucking throw the flag. If not, then don't fine them. The NFL is literally stealing money from their players for playing the for for playing the game. Soft ass league. And then the NFL another Chargers fine for use of the helmet 
in the NFL dunk, he'll make $22,511 for this pass rush against Creed Humphrey. Soft league, man. We're, we are inching closer to saving on saving flag football. It's freaking soft. And also, the NFL fine linebacker Denzel Perryman, $66,666. For C. Ruffness and use of the helmet on this play last week against the Chiefs. The, the NFL is just run by idiots. Interesting number choice as well. Uh, but yeah, the NFL is just run by idiots, man. All these ra random ass fines, like $22,000, $66,000, $14,000. And none of these are worth fines. Like, they're just literally stealing money without saying it. CD Lamb. The NFL fined him. They find, uh, what's happening? They find Cowboys star wide receiver CD Lamb. $25,324 for two unsportsmanlike conduct violations last week, including taunting on a touchdown. I'm sorry, where was the taunting? So lame. And he, also, he was also fined $11,255 for taunting, $14,000 for an unsportsmanlike conduct and, and violent gesture. So, another expensive couple weeks. No fun, Lee, man. Get fined for playing football. Ro Roger Goodell should be getting fired. For, for taunting. Okay, the violent gesture, what, okay, whatever. 11000 for taunting? So soft, man. Marshawn Lattimore got fined. So many players getting fined, man. So, Seahawks running back, the NFL fined him. Running back Zach Charbonnet, $45,000 for unnecessary roughness and use of the helmet on this play. He's He was the lead blocker on this play, uh, number 26. So, he got fined for playing football. I mean, this shit isn't going to change until Goodell's out of here. I mean, for that little much of a block, th this is ridiculous. So, insult to injury, Jalen Phillips is out for the year. Well, he got fined $16,883 for a low hit on Titans QB, Will Levis. Man, does the NFL just want to steal, play steal money from these players? Like, what the hell? Uh, the NFL fined Lions, Jameson Williams, $14,000 for unsportsmanlike conduct, use of prop, dunking over the crossbar after his long touchdown last week. Are we serious? It gets worse and worse. They find, a, you remember that Saints player who hit Devontae Smith? Well, he got fined like $4,000. Are you just not allowed to have fun? This is a no fun league, dude. Roger Goodell is a freaking terrorist. You're joking, dude. And Cam, said, Cam Sutton, he got fined $0 for beating his wife, by the way. Sorry. Just point, pointing it out, pointing it out to the NFL. They won't, they won't notice it though. But he got fined fourteen thousand for dunking over the fucking crossbar. Are we serious? Come on, NFL. And the NFL fined Bills defensive end Dwayne Smoot eight thousand one hundred fifty-six dollars for necessary roughness, named Ravens fullback Pat Ricard in the chin after a play last week. That's a deserved fine. This is probably the first fine that's deserved. But eight K. And you got players to find fourteen thousand for dunking over a freaking crossbar, and forty-five k for a freaking lead block. That's so little of a block. The NFL find Jets wide receiver Alan Lazard fourteen thousand dollars for a violent gesture. It's double finger guns celebration last week. This is insane, dude. This is softer than puppy shit. My lord. Um, the commander's makeup QB is back. Marcus Mario has been activated from injured reserve ahead of Sunday's game versus Cleveland. Wow, huge news there. He ain't gonna play. Now, the Ravens elevated Deets Van Yannick and Gonkway from the practice squad. His 24, 2024 debut, so he's going to be back for Baltimore. 
Um, so Texas defense man Dylan Horton, who returned to practice this week after finishing treatment for Hodgkin's Hul- lymphoma, has been activated from the non-football units list. That's a good story to have him back. Um, so in the move, the Texans have placed deep, Jer- defensive end Jerry Hughes on injured reserve. So at least Dylan Horton's back um, after that. Uh, he had lymphoma. So the Packers have placed wide receiver Romeo Dobbs on the reserve slash suspended list for one game for contra- for conduct detrimental to the team. Hey, skipping practice because you don't like your role is not the answer. Is that well deserved suspension here? And look, it's a tough decision. But he doesn't play around. He plays no favorites. He treats all players the same. Um, their GM. Like Alexander, J. Alexander done this last year. He got a one game suspension. So Deserve, deserve suspension here. Uh, for the Saints, Taysom Hill is going to be out with a rib injury, and Willie Gay Jr. with a hand is ruled out versus the Chiefs. So two players uh, for the Saints there are out for um, Monday Night Football this week. So the Colts have downgraded Anthony Richardson to doubtful, and Joe Flacco in line to start Sunday versus Jacksonville. So it looks like Joe Flacco is back starting. Uh, the Dolphins are activating wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. from the PUP list. Now playing on Sunday against the Patriots, Perry and Rapport and Tom Pelissero. He's going to be doing a lot of cardio. He ain't going to be catching any passes. He might catch two. Um, the Cowboys have placed Brandon Cooks on injured reserve, sidelining him for the least the next four games with that knee issue. Sounds about right. All our fucking injuries. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals have downgraded Tiny and Trey McBride to questionable for Sunday's game with a ribs injury. Dude, he just emerged from the concussion protocol as well. When the hell did he pick up a rib injury? He w- he had full practices all week. It was never reported he his ribs were hurt, and now it's hurt. It's every week. It's either he has a concussion or his, or his ribs just somehow magically get fucking hurt. The Patriots are activating wide receiver Kendrick Bourne from the PUP list, and he'll make his season debut Sunday against the Dolphins, per source. Wow, Kendrick Bourne's back. Ooh. Yeah, Odell Beckham and Kendrick Bourne, oh, that's going to help these teams score. Uh, the Raiders have officially um, listed defensive end Max Crosby ankle as questionable for Sunday versus Denver. Four others are out. Uh, is Demir White with a groin. Michael Mayer personal. Wide receiver Devontae Adams hamstring. Hamstring. The wide receiver Devontae Adams doesn't want to fucking play for his team out Sunday. Uh, Fred Warner and George Kittle are each questionable. Uh, Fred Warner has an ankle injury and George Kittle with a rib injury. Sounds about right. So it's all from Tom Plissero here. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Jaguar star linebacker Josh Hines Allen has cleared the NFL's concussion protocol and is off the injury report. Well, I like Josh Allen, but I don't think he's going to do much for him. Uh, the Rams activated Darius Williams off hour to play Sunday, which is big for their secondary. So they'll need him. Uh, Jabril Papers has been downgraded to out. Browns guard Michael Dunn was activated. One defensive end Alex Ryan has been placed in the R. And commander safety Tyler Owens with a shin has been downgraded to doubt. So some more injuries up. More some more injury updates there. Larry Young and uh, Ogan Joby with a groin has been upgraded from questionable to having no injury designation. So he'll be good to go against my Cowboys. Christian Watson is doubtful and Cooper Cup is also out. Some uh, injury updates there with receivers. Uh, George Kittle is expected to play today, so there's an update on that. He's expected to play today, and uh, Fred Warner is also expected to play. Uh, Max Crosby is expected to play, and Luke Musgrave, he's going to test out. Um, test it out. Even if he does play, he'll be limited, so that's an injury update there. Um, Damian Pierce list is questionable on Sunday due to his hamstring injury. He's not expected to play versus the Bills. Well, it looks like the plan maybe be at Cam Akers tomorrow, or today, later on today. Uh, Tyler Beatty, they placed him in reserve and, ele- and elevated Lavelle Bailey, their inside linebacker. Uh, Commanders now Brian Robinson, Austin Eckler, because Brian Robinson with question with a knee was is good to go. So that's good news. Um, the Cardinals have elevated former Patriots kicker Chad Highland to their active roster. Oh girl, oh god, not him. Stuff so there from Adam Shafter. 
Um, but yeah, that's really all I'll say for this video, so leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm have a lot. Peace, and I'll do another NFL News video for more injury updates if I wake from time before the other game starts. So yeah, peace.